Don't forget to like and subscribe to Jolie Knotts Crochet. Share with your friends. Hit that little notification bell so you can get notified when new patterns release. All our videos are available in left and right handed tutorials. Hi everyone, welcome back to Jolie Knotts Crochet. I'm Crystal and today we are going to be making these favorite toasty textured beanies. Now this pattern is super, super simple. It is a one row repeat and it's going to give us this really awesome, thick, warm texture. We are going to be working this pattern from the brim. First working around the brim and then up the body. Now I've got three different sizes here and let me teach you and explain to you about your yarn and your gauge because you're going to be able to use any yarn and any hook that you desire. So let's go ahead and start with this. This is the beanie that we're gonna be doing the tutorial on today. Now the yarn that I used for this is Ice Yarns in Cakes Air. It's the, um, Cakes Air is the line in the purple and pink shades. This is 150 grams, 180 meters, so just a little under 200 yards. 50% acrylic and 50% polyamide. Now it is a bulky five weight yarn. I would agree with that as far as it being a bulky five weight yarn. I put it a little bit on the thinner side, um, but we did use a six millimeter hook for the brim. And then we went up to a six and a half millimeter hook for the top. So depending on the yarn you're using, you're gonna choose the hook size that's recommended You'll fit it on the circumference of your head for your brim. Now, if you're making a child size, then of course your brim is gonna be about maybe two inches tall. If you are making it for an adult size, you're gonna to go to about two and a half inches, maybe even three inches on the larger side, depending on the, the style that you're going for. With this one, we did an almost three inch brim but we did extra body so it was a little bit more slouchy. On this one here, I did about two and a half inches and I made it to be fitted like a cap, but it is much, much more stretchy than the other hats. So the sizing I had to make sure was right. This one doesn't stretch a whole lot and this one stretches a whole bunch. Now I made this one for my daughter, so this is a child size. This is actually an adult size, even though it kind of looks the same, but the stretch goes way farther and I'm not stretching it out. It, that's just the way that it fits. Now moving on to the yarn that we used for this one. The way that I got the effect here was by using one mandala cake the one I used as a mandala sparkle. This is three and a half ounces, 328 yards, and it is a light three weight yarn. The recommended hook size for this one is five millimeter, and I started double stranded using a five and a half millimeter for the brim. So what I did was just dig right into the middle, pull out my center, grab the piece from the end, and I double stranded and worked that way. And so you have that slow changing color, but that is still double stranded and extra texture. Okay, this one is more of an extra large adult. I've got a lot of hair, so I need mine to be bigger and I like the slouch in the back for me. Now, moving on to the blue one, this one I made for my husband. He's bald, he has no hair, so it should not be too big or it's gonna be too loose on him. He usually likes slouchy hats, but this one he wanted it to be more fitted like a cap. So I made it much, much shorter than I made mine that has a slouch by a couple of inches. Now the yarn that I used for this one is Ice Yarns Favorite Wool. Now this is categorized as a five weight yarn, but I completely disagree with that. I even think it's a little bit more on the lighter of a four weight yarn size. 
Um, this skein comes in 210 meters, so uh, maybe about 220 yard, 230 yards ish around there. It's 50% wool and 50% acrylic, and it comes in a 100 gram skein. Now this color I think was the blue shades. It doesn't have a color on here, but that's about the color I had. I'll go ahead and leave the link below for you, but it is a really warm, toasty stitch, and this, since it's 50% wool, um, this fiber is really warm and toasty also. Okay, oh, and the size that I used for this was a five millimeter for the brim and a six millimeter for the body. So choose your yarn wisely, choose the hook size that you desire that's more of a recommended hook size for your brim, and then you're gonna go up a hook size for the body. All right, now sizing our beanies. You are going to make your band in multiples of two. So your rows all the way across are gonna be in multiples of two. Now this band I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This band I made 20 inches long. And then we're gonna fold it in half and slip stitch it together. But I told you I have a bigger head and a lot of hair. And then of course it stretches a couple of inches bigger than you make it. So this one would be an extra large size. You're just gonna build your band to 20 inches if you're going for extra large. Now, keep in mind, like I said, this also has a very tall brim. If you're making it for a child size, you're gonna wanna shorten your brim. This one with a five and a half millimeter hook, I went 10 stitches, and this one with a five millimeter hook, not double stranded, I also went 10 stitches, but you can see that there's a difference in the thickness of the brim. Now this one was with the bulky yarn and a six millimeter hook and I only went six stitches and that's gonna be for a child size. So you're gonna need your yarn and your hook if you wanna put a pom-pom on it and a tapestry needle and we will get started. Okay, so to get started and choose the size of the brim that I have, I'm using a larger hook size, a six millimeter. And this one was a pretty wide brim with a five and a half millimeter. I'm gonna be making this one for my daughter today and it's going to be shorter. So I want it to be a little bit closer to two inches rather than the whole three. So I'm gonna chain six and check the size of my brim. And it looks like that's gonna be two inches. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have six stitches. So now I'm going to chain one for height and into each chain, well, the second chain from the hook and each chain following that, I'm gonna put a single crochet. So I should have six single crochets going down the brim of my hat. Now I'm gonna chain one, turn my work, and single crochet into the back of every single crochet, just the back loop only. Now for row three, we're gonna chain one, turn our work, and again, single crochet into the back loop of every single crochet. So in every row, I should be single crocheting into the back loop and I should still have six stitches across. Now, if you're making a larger size, then you'll probably have more than six stitches. Now keep repeating row two until you get to the head circumference of the size that you're making. Okay, I've just completed my band. I have made this band 17 inches wide. Now this one is not as stretchy as this one. So you're gonna wanna also make sure the stretch that yours has, cause you don't want it to be too tight and you don't want it to be too loose. So now we're gonna chain one 
and fold our work in half. And we're gonna slip stitch these together in the same manner that it, we would be working, just across in the back loop only. So we're gonna go through the first side, back loop only, and then we're gonna find the first chain on the other side. And we're gonna pull through all three loops. Now we're gonna do the same thing into the back loop of the next stitch, through the next chain on the other side, and pull through all three stitches. Through the back loop, through the chain on the other side, and pull through all three loops. And continue that all the way down, ending out with six slip stitches. I have six because I have six stitches across. You should have the same amount of the stitches that you have across. Now we're gonna fold our brim, flip it inside out really, because now we want that to be the inside of it, okay? And I'm gonna try to work over my tails here. So I'm gonna chain one, and this is not technically a row, this is our chain space. We're gonna want an odd number of stitches going all the way around our brim. Now because I have an even number of rows, I'm gonna to need to increase one stitch. So I'm gonna increase my one stitch here where the chain space is, and I'm gonna put a half double crochet. Now I'm going to half double crochet into the side of every row, and when I get all the way around, I still wanna make sure that I have an odd number of stitches. So go ahead and just put one half double crochet into the side of every row and I will meet you back at the beginning, making sure you double check and make sure that you've got that odd number of stitches. Okay, here I am, I've gotten to my last stitch. And now what I'm gonna do is switch my hook from my six millimeter to my six and a half millimeter. The first stitch, we're gonna be working in continuous rows here. You're not gonna need any stitch markers. Our first stitch is going to be a front post double crochet around your first half double crochet. Okay, so straight from one to the next. Now we're going to put a double crochet on top of the next stitch. Now we're going to put a front post double crochet around the next. And that's it. That's all we're going to do. Switching back and forth, double crochet, front post double crochet. All the way down and around and I'll meet you back where we started to show you how to continue. Okay, here I am all the way around. This is the first stitch that we worked into and this is the last. Now we're not gonna need to count our rows because we're just gonna continue growing in continuous rounds until we get to the size that we want. If we want it slouchy, make it longer. If you want it more fitted, make it shorter. Our last stitch here should be a front post double crochet. Now your next stitch, it's already a front post double crochet from the previous row. So we should just be able to continue with our pattern, putting a half double, putting a double crochet into the top of our front post double crochet, and then front post double crocheting around our regular double crochet. And so now we're alternating double crochet into our front post, and then front post into our double crochet. Okay, and go around and around and around until you get to the height that you want from your brim. This one is a lot taller than this one. This one is slouchier and this one is more fitted. So this one is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, about six inches tall, and this one was one, two, three, four, five, six, about seven inches tall. 
So I'm going to keep working my pattern around and around. You should have no seams and I will meet you back here to show you how to close it up. Okay, so I have just completed mine. I did not mean to color pull that. It actually came out really cool though. And mine is about six inches tall for just the body. Now there's nothing we need to do special here because we're just gonna close it all up. So snip off a long end. Pull your tail through. And let's go ahead and weave in our needle. All right, so I'm just gonna take my needle and I'm gonna find the top of each stitch. I'm just gonna go in and out of every single stitch all the way around so we can scrunch up our end. Just in and out of every stitch. Now, if you wanna put a pom-pom on yours, I will leave the link in the description box and also at the top of the screen for you to uh, learn how to put a pom-pom on if you need to, if you'd like to put a pom-pom on it. Okay. Now I'm gonna pull it all together, scrunch it all nice and tight. And from there, this is bulky yarn, so it's really, we're gonna need to weave it in and out from one side to the next. And keep working our way across, back and forth to help us close out that top. Just through one side, straight across to the next. confident you've um, secured it and you've got it as closed as you can you can go ahead and put your yarn through to the inside and you can tie out your yarn into a knot from there fasten off snip your um, your edges put your pom-pom on if you like before you snip the, your edges leave yourself a tail if you are putting a pom-pom on. Otherwise, go ahead and knot it several times so it doesn't come out. Snip off your end. And there we've got it. A nice, perfect child size fit. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. If you did happen to make this, don't forget to join us on the Jolie Knots Crochet community on Facebook and show us what you've created.